Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. So if you are new to the channel please like share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. Right. So let us move and see what is our use case. Use case is like uh, how we can use our JSON view and truncate attributes inside a field. Alright, so let's move in our use case and see what we can do using these uh, attributes. So we can make JSON value display like XML payload. Like we can see there is a update set where we can see show XML in uh, nearby that field. So you can click on show XML and XML will be displayed and same way we can display the JSON value as well. So I will show you how we can do it and I will also show you how we can use no truncate attributes for fields. All right. So let's move to our personal developer instance and see how we can use these attributes. As you can see, this is my personal developer instance and now let's try it and see how we can implement those use case. So let me open our incident form first. You can see our incident list is loaded. Now let me try to open any record here. All right, so this is the record. So what I will do is like, I will create two new fields and I will show how we can use those attributes on those fields, right? So let me try to create new fields on this form as you can see our form design is loaded and now i will try to create new field here so i will create field under this section after description so i will create new field I will select this string. I will select one more string field here. And now I will update those. Suppose this, I will name this field as a JSON field so that uh, no confusion is there. So, yeah. And now I will rename this string as truncate field. And now I will save this form design and I will show how we can utilize both attributes on the form. And you can see uh, there are two fields are visible here. So let me try to increase this JSON field string size. Suppose I will type here 1000 for this JSON field or 4000. And I will set update. So now this field is and now same I will do for this truncate field. I will provide value as thousands. So I will update this dictionary. And you can see I have updated both field dictionaries and now I will show how we can uh, find whether it is a JSON field or not. So suppose we are having this data. This is JSON data, JSON format. So let me try to save it. And you can see right now we don't have any options to view this JSON data like we used to view in our XML, right? So what we will do is like we will go to dictionary of this field we 
and you can see there is a attributes list and we will click on new and now I will select JSON JSON view and I will add the value as true and now I will submit it and I will update this dictionary and now I will see how our field looks all right now you can see the JSON field this attributes uh, we have applied is displaying here and I will click here and we can see all the JSON attributes right so this is really cool so imagine we will be having lot huge amount of data here in JSON field and you can view it in a correct format so that you can uh, do some uh, research for all the values which you are uh, getting in this field right so this is really cool so it's just work like a so XML so this JSON field you can use this dictionary attributes all right so now comes the truncate part so why this truncate field is there so let me just add some values here my Alright, so this is the text which I have added and I will save this record. Alright, so I have saved this record and now I will copy this incident number and I will open the incident list. And you can see this is our incident which we have created. And now I will add field, truncate field here. Now you can see we are not able to view complete data on this list right and we have to hover it and we will see the data. So what we can do is to display all this data so we will just go to this truncate field dictionary and we will create one attribute here. that is no truncate so no truncate I will set the value as true so what this will do let me show you it will not show any effect on the form but if you see on the list this incident this was our incident and you can see all the data started displaying here on this field right so this is the way how you can show all the values if suppose you have uh, some big data on particular field and you can display your field this way right so this this is also good but there is one drawback also if suppose this field is having huge data like uh, more than 4000 or 10,000 strings so it's better not to use truncate field the performance will be low overall so we don't want to use this truncate no truncate attributes for larger data right so this is all about this session please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it Thank you.